In this video, I'll show you a new feature that we've added to make it easier to monitor your API management solution. So here we have uh, created a new API. It's pretty simple and it just have a method you can call, get some OData and it has a spike arrest. What we wanted to know is actually what type of alerts are we getting on this and are we getting any spike arrests? And this is a common problem I've seen at uh, different locations. And one of the things that we wanted to do was make it easier actually to handle this. So we are monitoring your full API uh, proxy and API management. And you can see all the different files and uh, you have there. So you can see all the, your different policies you have. What we then have is we've added a button here that says add these FIGAF policies. And what we'll do is we will then add these policies to it. And this is something about error handling. And uh, whenever there's an error, it will dump this information into the, so we can see it's adding this FIGAF uh, JavaScript here into it. Um, it also changes the endpoint policy. So if we check this and view this, we can see that it added these uh, rules into it. And what we then have is we, if we call this service, getting some errors, Our spike arrest, everything's okay. What we'll then see is if we go to our API management, we will have then dumped this information into this uh, figure of error handling uh, KVM. So here we can see we're getting some spike arrest violation on this north wind, where uh, we're getting an error response, and then we're getting all of these individual messages. And what we can see here is the payload of these things. In the ERT tool, we also have a way to monitor these things. So we can go in here, we can say pull alerts, and this will then download all of these information from, uh, from the KVM. And when you have this data here, you can then set up rules on top of this. So we can say, okay, if we're getting this spike arrest, uh, we can drill in, we can see more details about it. Uh, well, I guess this is done as a status. We don't want to do anything on it. Uh, but we can add a rule that does say if spike arrest equals to this, um, we have a step policies here, so we will just notify We don't want to do much about it, but we just want to send this as an email. Then we have the option to send it as an email. We can also add it to uh, Jira or any other application where it makes sense. Um, so, um, yeah, there's a web API that you can use to send data to and see what, what's happening then. So once this will occur, the next time we will be processing this message and we'll get a spike arrest. we will then hopefully be able to see that this spike arrest then was in status done. And um, so we can see here it's status, the new spike arrest is in status done. So we can see we have actually set up automated handling of these things. And for the other messages here, we got some more details and we can drill in and see what's actually the error response that we're getting. And based on this, we can also set up different alerts that we want to do uh, on this data. So uh, I hope this has been helpful. If you want to try it out, you can go to figaf.com forward slash IRT, download it and try it out on your own system and see how it works. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to set up and, and run. So uh, go check it out.